What's going on Shadow Warriors? This is the Shadow Knights here. I'm Black Poisoner Michael here. I need to push up my glasses. And I'm also staring right at a block. <laughs> well anyways, look at what I did off camera. And it is a lot more than just that. Looks pretty beautiful, isn't it? It it looks really pretty. Yay pretty. <laughs> well, anyways, there's a lot I gotta show you guys other than that. So he's giving me more of a redstone episode, and here's why. Yeah, I made, uh, I started making the train system. So I have everything on this track perfectly timed. So it's all timed to lead me here. Alright, that's back to the entrance. Ah, oh, crap, I broke the redstone. So now, obviously, as I come down here, you saw me build the common room, but the train station down here I built is even better. So the button one is to the courtyard. Ooh, yeah. Yep, the courtyard. <laughs> I came from over there. But let's go back. So it sends me back here, circle to commons or continue to storage. So now I'm back here. Now the button 2 sends me to storage, which again is back here, continue to storage, which goes back here, which we will not be building today. I'll probably build that off camera. My brother's over there. I'm waving at him, telling him to get out of my face. <laughs> So we will not be building that today, actually. We've got some, uh, redstone to do. <laughs> I actually personally love redstone. Uh-oh. Wrong block. So today we're going to be building a locking redstone door. I actually did it off-camera. I, I built a design off-camera. I had it edited it f had I had edited it from people's previous designs of redstone gates. So if you can, if I can come over to, uh, it's on my darn it. <laughs> well, I'm on my, I'm on the wrong. Uh, I'm on the completely wrong computer for this. But it's a locking redstone door, so we could actually build it here right now. All I need is some sticky pistons and some cobblestone and a lot of redstone. I just it's here. Okay. Ah, right, darn it. I need to do that. So yeah, it's a pretty good amount of redstone. It takes a lot of redstone torches. So let's go ahead and go to the shop and buy a lot. I got 77k. Uh, let's go minerals. Yeah, because mining is boring. Let's go back. Let's go to rainy. Let's buy some repeaters. A lot of repeaters. Oh, excuse me. Some pressure plates. Some buttons, some levers. Where's the redstone torches? Gosh darn it. I think I'm gonna need more redstone anyhow. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm completely out of sticks, that's why. So. Cobblestone. I have two cobblestone, I need six cobblestone. Actually, I'm probably going to need a lot more than that. So I'm going to get a lot more than that. I shouldn't be mining over here because the redstone might even go down all the way that deep. Efficiency poor for a pickaxe if you guys didn't already catch that. Uh oh, I'm glitching out. But yeah, that should be more than enough cobblestone. So let's continue uh, building the door. Actually, let's start building the door. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, I actually need sticky pistons, so I'll have to figure out how to make a sticky piston, which I think has to do with slime balls, which I don't have any slime balls. Slash so shop. Um, farming. Reading. Spawners. Uh oh. 75,000. Oh no. Oh, whew, I'm saved. 
I'm saved. Okay, so we need a piston. So how do I craft a piston? I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I know exactly how to craft a piston. <laughs> so we're going to need some wood. So let's go murder some poor trees. This tree needs murdering. Alright, let's get some spruce. We got some spruce. There's no spruce piss. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to cover this up. Uh oh. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice amount of redstone showing here. So this is gonna be a three redstone door, and it's gonna be here. It's gonna lock from the inside. So that's gonna be fun. I already know how to make it. First I actually need to craft the piston. Where is the piston? Whatever, because it told me how to craft it anyhow. Darn it, I forgot to duplicate it, okay. Cause you need a good six pistons. Ah, I forgot how to make it already. Okay, so it's six pistons. Now we need to make them sticky, pi sticky pistons. Okay. So the pistons are going to go here. That's a one block indent, so it needs to go two block indent. We need to face this way. Ah, ah, <laughs> triggered. Ah! This didn't work on me. Okay, thank you. So now I need to make the cobblestone. I actually need, need a lot more red to redstone torches than I already have. I think I've got some sticks. Hopefully that'll be enough, but maybe not. Since I know there's going to be a lot of redstone gates, which usually involve... Yeah. So... Basically, I'm going to have a button right here. I actually need green wool. Okay. Shut shop. I need green red wool. Because it, it looks good, you know? It just looks good. Um, is there a next button? Um. Hopefully I can get some colored things. Reading minerals, farming food, drops, potions, gear, spawners, blocks. Colored blocks, Okay. Let's buy myself some lime wool and some red wool. Okay, so the lime wool. It doesn't matter what color the wool is. I just found it efficient to have a piece of... Right, not even efficient. just looks good. This button. This button. Okay. This button will get you in. It's going to be repeated, so... So let's dig down a little. Okay, so this one right here. Let's go and replace it with cobbles. Actually, I'm just going to replace it with dirt. There needs to be... Headsets are uncomfortable. Need to adjust them. Redstone goes here and here. Ah, glasses! Um... Actually, the redstone is going to go here. So that means the AND gate is going to go right here. AND gate is, uh, no zitches, uh. AND gate is something we need for the lock. So we're going to just put the AND gate here. Tree feller abilities refreshed. That's nice. Uh, I only mine out what is necessary because it needs to be compact as possible. So there's two torches. Uh, nope. Two torches and a torch. Followed by redstone. If 
you guys don't know what an AND gate is, it requires two inputs to make it work. So the lock would be the second input. I'll explain to you how that works soon. But this is going to go to the second piston. Or, the, or the first set of pistons, sorry. So I have to figure out where those are. Right there, right here. I've got the repeaters. So I, I'm trying to I try to use repeaters where the red, redstone 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 intersects. That way, like it won't intersect, but it'll still go through the proper path S because it, it can get really compact in here. <laughs> okay, so the pistons are here. I actually need this one to go up one, and then this one to go up one. I think that's good, or we might need to do one more. Redstone. Block. Redstone. Is that two or three? That's two. Yeah, that's two. So it does need to go up one further block, so I guess I can use this one. Or actually, even this one. Could just go up one block. Go boom, boom. Uh oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Ooh, okay, this one, this one. This one. Ah. Uh, see, here's where you face one of the problems of redstone. So we can actually fit a repeater here. I actually prefer to do a repeater here. And then a repeater back here. I hope it's only used to be at two ticks. Okay, so actually no. I need to go one more so the repeater can go here. So the pistons are here. See, that's how that work is supposed to work. Actually, block here and block here. Actually, and then block here because we needed to go up. We needed to, it to go up one more. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Too bad this isn't creative. <laughs> Let me see this one. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I do want the pistons to be active. So is this piston active? Yes, it is. Okay, so that means all three pistons are active. This means it's done its job. But oh, I do need it one more, one lower. I actually do need it one lower. Need it right there. Um, it's it's another complicated redstone thing that I'm not really sure I can explain. No, I actually need it lower than that. What? One, two, okay, I got it. Three. Okay, yeah, there we go. That works. But now I need to do it the same for the other side of pistons. Oh, look. Uh oh, we're out. We've been released from the Fredstone prison. Most of the stuff you really can't just cover up, like, simply. Four ticks.
I actually think boom boom but I think that is what it has to be and then redstone okay but after we we have to extend it again Okay, there we go. So now whenever the red, whenever, whenever this one becomes active, whenever both of them are active, both gates, then the redstone doors will open. The pistons will retract and the doors will open. So now basically, it's a matter of installing the lock. Well, actually it's two matters. It's one of getting the button on the other side done. See, right now it doesn't work because the, s because the second one's not getting any input. So I actually need to mine through the door, literally. <laughs> Effectively, now it's locked. So on this side, I need it on the same side as this one. So I need to put the crafting cable here. I need to replace the crafting table. Lime wool. Where's the button? Here's the button. And now, as I mine beneath this, I realize I'm going to have a problem. See, redstone, do you really need a problem solve? See this? Going to block it off. See, now it's straight, and that redstone can have some, quote, privacy. But now we get, I need to get that redstone back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it under. I'm actually going to send it over and under. <laughs> Still gonna have this one blocked. See the button get pushed, this one gets active, none of the others are activated. See it's now attached. So now what what happens is when I can get out of here. When the button is pushed, it'll activate both sides. This way you can get both out and in. But now the real challenge is installing the lock. Let's see how that activates. It'll activate both sides. So effectively pushing that button pushes the other one there too. But that's not really the point. Well, actually, well, I can't even see the end gate from here anyway, so it won't work. Just my headsets again. All right. So we need to install a lock now. So the lock is something else entirely, basically. Is that going to block off redstone? Let's see. No, it won't. Oh, but it will cause a problem, okay. So it's so I'm gonna have to attach the lock to the wall. It's obviously gonna be red wool. And it's gonna be a lever. It has to be a lever lever. So right now we want it in active.
And attaching it to this side is the, actually the better thing to do because the other side of the end gate is well on the side. Okay, so it's redstone. Redstone. So I need to send the redstone down and over. Because that way I can get it to the other side, side of the AND gate. Yeah, that's not happening. But this is... Ah, oh, I just jumped off. <laughs> I'm just going to build a massive tower right there, and that's going to A, make it look good, B, cover up the redstone. <laughs> so anyways, after that setback, I should be able to make this jump. Yep, I made that jump. So the redstone is sent under... Sent through a repeater. Only one tick. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, yeah, that's definitely okay. Uh-oh. How about I don't curve it at all? I put it up one block higher. Uh-oh. Okay. So that should work. Yup, okay. So now we've got an easy passage of the lock. Ah oh, crap, I broke the redstone. Mom, I broke the redstone. Help. So here is where a repeater needs to go. See, this is called smart use of repeaters. <laughs> but it looks like I've still got a problem, so I'll just mine this block off, mine this block off. And there we go. So now, let's get back. To the main area. Break that. See, deactivate the lock. Why did it only activate one? Now this is called troubleshooting. <laughs> when I push the button... Alright, push. Uh, see, it's a problem when you don't have fly. Why is this active? <laughs> Oh, I think I know why. It's because the repeaters are broke. Oh, apparently I can't activate repeaters like that. Well, also remind me why this is active. Why is this redstone active? There's no way it can be active.
it's a deactivated torch. Let's break some redstone. Yeah, this is a deactivated torch. What is it doing? Yeah, I deactivated the locks, which should deactivate the torch. Why is it active? Oh. Okay. Oh. I see. I see. So it's powering that. Okay, so I'm going to put it one block lower. Oh, but I see another problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to have it travel one block lower than it already is. I think that works. Oh no! Okay. I just killed it. But now, now I don't know what I did. <laughs> oh great, I broke it. <laughs> okay. So, that should work now question mark no I actually have to fix it first oh darn it uh, darn it you uh, see now I don't know what I'm breaking okay yeah nailed it One repeater. That's a two repeat repeater. Two ticks. Okay, let's get back up. That should question mark work? Okay, so the button needs to go here. Okay, so where's the button? Okay, here's the buttons. Ah! There we go. Um, why are the doors staying open? I somehow managed to activate a permanent redstone clock. <laughs> See, I activated that redstone. It's traveling down here. Oh, it's because I broke that redstone torch. But you see, now it should deactivate. Why is the redstone still active? Redstone doors are retracted because the redstone's active. But I, I don't get why the redstone's active. Oh, it's because it ran out of power. I think. I mean, did it? No, it didn't run out of power. If I put it, it did run out of power. Oh, it didn't. What? Huh? 
No, it didn't run out of power. No, it didn't run. Um. No, it didn't run out of power. Okay, that's the final answer. I've built this before, but why isn't it working now? Okay, now the question. Let's break something and replace it. What, what? So this is the source block right here. here because it's being powered by a redstone torch. That's the point. Huh? Okay, so. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Because this is supposed to go to both pistons. It's not supposed to go to this one. I need to engage the, I need to engage the lock. Crap, I broke the redstone again. This is the problem with troubleshooting. <laughs> okay. Ah, darn it, where did I place that torch? Okay, so that's... So I deactivated it. Yes. So it should not be powering. Okay, so this is the inside. This is the outside. So the outside sends it to this gate. The inside sends it from here back down here. Place that redstone. And up into the inside. But the inside is attached to the lock, which can't happen. But the inside's not blocked now. Now this gate sends to both redstone. This gate, uh, this gate sends to both areas. So this one has to be on surface. Nailed it. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to put a repeater here. And there. Brum ba bum, black poison to the rescue. When you're too busy fixing redstone, you don't reason, don't reason, don't realize you're starving. Okay, let's check to see if it, I gauged a lock, so it's not going to work anyway. Let's gauge the lock. Great, what did I do? I engaged the lock. So I sent it around here. Sent it through here. If I break this repeater, it doesn't do anything. Well, it breaks the redstone signal. Is it not hooked up to the AND gate properly? What's wrong with it? Try placing a block here. Can I put a piece of redstone on it? No, I can't. Why is this one active?
Oh, because it's got a block powering it. Of course. So I need to take this one lower, and if I take this one lower... Uh... Okay, I know what to do. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Done. Now that that fiasco is over, I'm gonna place a, place a comparator. Not a comparator, a repeater. They're set to two takes. Boom, done. Let's see if the door works now. Okay, so they're both closed. Which repeat? Okay, so there's a four tick and a two tick there. What about over here? There's a two tick. And that's it. That's a problem. Not a big problem, but it's a problem in my eyes. Okay, done. <laughs> move through this again and then replace it I think that works pretty well boom boom opens closes opens closes locked does it move doesn't move. Done.